Hey everybody, PJ here. I just got in my new to me MFJ269 antenna analyzer. Been messing around with it, going through the instructions and stuff, and uh, just thought I would uh, hook it up to my NFED. I got an MFJ NFED antenna 10 through 80. I want to say it's a 1982 or 1984. I have to look. I can't remember. But it's a high-powered one. Which, uh, I don't know if it's all so much high-powered. But, anyway. I figured to uh, let you come along with me while I just kind of scan through this thing. Just to see what this thing <laughs> looks like. Because I'm kind of curious to see. Uh, reading on the instructions and watch a couple of videos and know how to at least do this part <laughs> you know checking my coax and stuff i ain't got that far yet uh, but i'll play with it a little bit hopefully you can see that right there but i'm just gonna start like in 80 because i know on uh, which we can go down to we'll start in 160 actually because it ain't supposed to do that one we'll see what it does i'm curious oops passed it oh no yeah it's pretty high I figured it was though, because I don't get that one. Hopefully you can see that. I like this thing though, you just hook it straight up to the antenna, which I've got, uh, I don't know. I need to check the coax length and actually get a good reading on that, because uh, I'm not sure how much coax I got. I got a couple pieces put together that I had. Uh, I want to say it's probably around 80 or 90 feet. It's not 100 and it's not uh, 50. It's uh, in between there somewhere. But uh, it's RG8 is what I'm using. All right. Well, let's uh, go on up. Let's see what it looks like in uh, 80 meters here. I've noticed that this little dial is pretty sensitive. So if you see me going kind of slow, it's because if you turn it like this, I mean, it goes like really fast. So 80 meters, not looking too great, is it? Not looking good at all, actually. So, I'm gonna start it over. Don't know why. I'm just gonna start it over. <laughs> it just seems high. Huh, that didn't change. Okay. Hmm. Pretty high, actually. Like super high for what I thought. Oh, let me see that. Let's see. <laughs> Six to one. Wow. I guess I want to be uh, in the extra band. I guess that'd give me a push to get my extra license for this antenna, huh? <laughs> you see that? It's a big difference. Around where general can go, I mean, it's five, five to one up in that area. So that don't look that great. Let's go to uh, 40, 40 meters. I got to turn this. That puts me between four megahertz and 10. So we'll go back down. I'm going to start close to the beginning of the extra, maybe down in there. Boy, that little knob is sensitive, man. 2.8. Man, I was not expecting it to be quite that high. And up here in the general portion is 3, so I guess they advertise under 3 to 1. So For a multi-band antenna, I guess that's probably good. 80 meters was quite a bit higher than what I thought it would be. Uh, a lot actually because they advertise three to one or under on uh, 
all of the bands, so are all the ones they specify any. So they ain't lying on the 40, so it's at least a three to one or under on 40. So let's go to 20. And for that one, I need to go to this little thing. So we'll go there. We'll back that down to 14 dot. We'll start down. We'll start down at the beginning. Might as well sweep the whole thing. So right around there 2.6 what oh, things really sensitive yeah, that one not so bad I mean 2.2.5 uh, up in the portion that I can do. 2.6 so 14.225's general and then up so under 3 to 1 so that one's under 3 to 1 I just wonder on a multi band they probably ain't no way to actually get that much better since you're doing a bunch of different bands but let's do a 17 18.110 come on now I'm kind of talking to myself and talking to you guys at the same time <clears throat> that one seems to be probably probably my best one because I can sweep the entirety of that one and it's 1.6 and it don't go it don't change 1.6 17 then, which is one of my favorite bands too, so uh, That one's not looking too too bad uh, Of course, where does it go? From there Where does it get better? It gets better as you go If I could lengthen that wire and get that better, hmm, interesting. Uh, sorry, hopefully, I'm looking at it instead of through the camera. So, hopefully, you're seeing what I'm seeing. I, I'm not paying attention to the light and stuff. So, hopefully, it's hard to look through the camera and try to do that. But anyway, so far, 17 is the best. Let's try. Uh, 15 here. So about 21.200. Boy, that thing skips quick. And that one ain't under 3 to 1. You got me there, uh, MFJ. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one's pretty high. 12 probably will be too. I've noticed even my 10 meters on here on that in fed, my internal tuner, well, even the uh, 939 tuner doesn't want to tune it up, uh, which is weird because actually I said the internal tuner, but sometimes the external tuner will tune up 10 meters or won't tune up 10 meters. And sometimes the internal tuner will, which only does three to one. So that kind of crazy, I don't know probably ought to assess my coax with this thing let's go up to 10 and see what it does so we got to go on back down sorry I'm learning this thing this is really <laughs> I've only been messing with it for maybe an hour, a couple hours maybe and I ain't been doing that the whole time so up around where I transmit usually is 28.370 6.8 Nine, whatever. High. <laughs> That's high. It gets 
better as I go up. So I'm wondering, wondering if I was to lengthen that wire. In fact, because that would bring my SWR down this way. From my understanding, if I shorten it, means I want to move my SWR better up the band. And if I want to move my SWR better down the band, then I'll lengthen it. So maybe they just got it short. Of course, now the wire did break and I had to re put another end on it, but it was only about, it broke right at the thing. So I'd say it probably didn't take off three inches, maybe. So I'd say once I wrapped it through the thing, maybe a total of five. But that explains why I don't want to tune it up real good because that's it's pretty high, 6.8. But, but for that, I'll go back here because right here seems to be my best. So I'll stay on 17, 17 meters. No, that's not bad. All right, just playing along with it. The more I use it, the more I'll do. I'm gonna try to figure out how to uh, measure coax and check my coax and stuff with it. Uh, coming up, you hear my chickens, they're coming in the garage. I gotta run them out. I don't know why they wanna come in here for, but uh, in order to check my coax though, I'm gonna have to go take the antenna loose and it's up in the tree and you know, figure while I'm up there, I might as well hook it straight to the antenna and see what it does at that point and all that. So. Uh, I might try to video some of that uh, if I can figure out how to get up the ladder and hold this thing without dropping it and falling off and breaking my neck while recording. So <laughs> that we might not do. But uh, all right, guys, that's it. MFJ 269, new to me antenna tuner. Uh, seems to be working as far as I can tell. Uh, but. That's about it. Just wanted to sweep through the uh, end fed and see what happened. Y'all have a good one.